Morning, folks. Still been busy working, battling pipes, and doing other things. Uh, <laughs> I redid the the suction part of this yesterday, but it's still shut off. Got too much moss in it. And I think I reduced it too much because uh, it was the the pipes I had. I went to a three inch instead of a four inch. And that didn't, I don't think that's enough. So I still got to mess around with it. But today, these have ran long enough, I think. So today, I'm going to try to move them. Uh, I'll have to move this hose over to that next, I um, don't know what you call it, standpipe, I guess. I'll have to pull out these prop sticks and then uh, go get some gas and see if the engine will start. That's always fun. That motor on this thing is really old. So these are designed just to roll over to the next one, then hook them all up. And it's supposed to go real easy, but it never works that way. with this is that I went from a four inch hose down to a three inch hose I didn't think it would matter because this reduces here down to two inch and then back out to four so I didn't think this pipe here is two and a half inch but I don't have the water pressure I did before I'm gonna have to change it again it sure is easier to clean with a quick disconnect. This is what's called the mover. Sometimes it'll move her, sometimes it won't though. So, so this old motor can't be more than a hundred years old I wouldn't think. Okay, where is the oil? Yeah, right there. Make sure it has some. And it looks about where it should be. I should probably change that though one of these days here soon. Okay, come on, get in there. Go now this <clears throat> yeah. this is a small hydraulic pump and it has plenty of fluid. So we're looking good so far. Shouldn't say that, I'll jinx myself. Okay, so this thing it doesn't hold oops, shoot. It doesn't hold the gas. It doesn't hold the gas very long. It'll leak out. So, I only put in about a cup or a little bit more than a cup at a time. Just enough to get it moved each try. Go 
was any more than that and it it uh, be dry again tomorrow anyway I can say this whole thing it's man it ain't easy <clears throat> okay so that turns the gas on give it a second or two for it to get pump in there and then I'll try pulling on this thing and pulling on it and pulling on it most likely hate to use starting fluid but give myself all the advantage I can here this thing. This won't make you Might have to shut this off, the language might get bad. Okay, so I just took the float bowl off, and my needle valve fell down in there somewhere. Oh, man. I'm surprised, but I found it. That thing is dinky. Oh, it goes up under there. That little clip thing supposed to hold it on to keep it from doing that, but obviously it doesn't work.
Look at the way that thing drips. Well, I gotta put the prop stock sticks back in and then <laughs> hope it'll power up with the water. What a pain. Come Cindy walking the dogs. Little monsters. Lily, Dots, come on. Come on, Lily. Come on, Dots. Come on, over here. Come on. Come on. Come on, Cora. <laughs> they see my truck over there. No, I'm over here. Come on. Give me here, Lily. Come on, come on, Daddy. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Good dogs. Whoa, ouch. <laughs> and there's Cora. She'll only come part way. <laughs> oh boy. Cindy walks the dogs down here about a mile loop every day. Sometimes two or three times a day. Oh. Well, got it moved anyway. Tell you what though, we need a new motor. We need new equipment. This place is falling apart all around us. And the fairgrounds get so little funding. They don't pay me worth a darn. All their equipment's broke down. It gets old really fast. Oh, the prop sticks are in on both ends. And when I before I move these, I always take that hose and I wad it up on the next valve. That way I can see where it is from clear down there. Um, you can't see it, especially when it gets when the grass gets taller. This stuff will get way steep or more if I'm lucky. All hooked up and gotta go turn it on now until it gets too moss too much moss in it and shuts off again. You should be able, if I can't see the end of it, you should be able to uh, count the number of turns it takes to get to the next valve. But <laughs> with that motor, it might not turn more than a half a turn before it quits again. And you gotta, you need to cuss it. If you don't cuss it, it won't run at all, of course. By the time you get done cussing it, you kind of forget how many turns it actually did. So if I can see it, it makes things a lot easier. These leaks at the bottom of the pipes, where all the sprinklers are, those are drain flaps. You have to have this thing empty of water before you move it or it'll break it. But if there's not enough water pressure, those drain flaps, they don't, they don't flap shut. And uh, sometimes I can take and shut the water off wait a second or two and then open it again real fast and that'll that'll rush the water through enough to bump those flaps and to shut them there we go finally turned on all the way to the end but since I went to the three inch um, suction pipe I don't think I have quite the pressure I need I'm gonna have to switch to the four inch somehow but for today I got to get uh, 
bunch of manure hauled and high school rodeo starts there'll be some of them showing up tonight so um, I don't have time to mess with this too much I'll have to get things ready for that but anyway thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time